Do you ever feel like you're floating? No, not like an astronaut in space, but like you're stuck in a bottomless pit of water that seems to never end. And it's not like falling because when you fall, you're actually getting somewhere. I'm so tired. Maybe if the voices in my head were quiet, I could get some sleep. I wonder if other people feel like this. I feel so alone. There was never a moment in time where I felt normal. My friends and family think it's a joke as if these feelings aren't real. Like being perfect is some sort of dare. I hate it. Can we all just take two minutes to breathe? The world seems to keep moving and the faster time passes, the more I don't want it to. Good morning, it's seven o'clock. It's your first day of school. You need to get up and start getting ready. Kelly, you're 17. You need to take responsibility when you're late. You need to learn how to start getting up. I'm not gonna come back to wake you up. Out of sight, out of mind, yet another nightmare, sleep I try hard to Kelly, you're late, you gotta get slept. Alright, hey, everybody's quiet because they're uh, working on the poems that they wrote over the summer, do you have yours? not the best way to start a new year, but uh, bring it tomorrow, otherwise you don't get any credit, okay? Okay, good job with the poems you wrote. Now I'm going to give you 10 minutes to talk about the, what inspired the poems. So, stay on task. Oh, what do you have to do? What's your poem, bro? Well, my poem is about how... Alright, no one cares. My poem is about the beach. What's up with you? The beach? Did you go to the beach? Did you go to the beach? I went to the beach. Such inspiration. Oh my god, I have no idea. I don't know. Oh my god, well, okay, the black sandy child, I was there! I was there, like, last summer! Oh my god! Okay. Well, I went to the beach, there was a lot of crabs, a lot of crabs, I thought of crabs, I didn't like it at all. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. You're okay. Stop crying. You're being too dramatic. No one else feels like this because they know how to deal with things. Learn how to deal with things. Oh, you guys are doing great, but I forgot. Marcus uh, forgot his poem and he, he wants to read his aloud now. Then after that, you guys can talk again, okay? So, uh, 
uh, my poem is, is called uh, Floating. There was never a moment in time where I felt normal. I've always tried my best, but I end up feeling dull. I've never been good enough. Don't you see? I'm not really that tough. I just, I just want to scream. There are these voices in my head that don't seem to go away. I suppress them even more so that I wouldn't have to explain to my family, to my friends, or the ones who judge me the most. Because those who are closest to me will think it's just a joke. I understand what it's like to feel alone. I'm floating through this deep pit of darkness that will never end at home. Falling? No. Floating. Because I feel like as if I'm going nowhere. It's like there's no point in time that I will get, ever get there. Home. That's a funny word. It's something I've never heard. Until now. I know what it's like to feel if you're floating endlessly. To think that there's no point in your life that you'll just never get to see. I know what it's like to feel that no one is listening to the voices in your head. It's like you're going crazy and that you're about to drop dead. I know what it's like to feel flawed and scared, as if being perfect is some sort of dare. It's not. It's okay to have flaws. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be confident. It's okay to have someone to confide in what's not okay is to think you're anything less than okay. But guess what? You're okay. I'm okay. And oh, you'd like to believe you're a link in the chain that is tying me down. You're the voice in my head, you aren't even here. And if I'm not scared, you can feed on my fear. So if I fall, it'll be cause I jumped. And if I jump, it'll be cause I'm reaching for the high.